Hi, I'm Richard Leonard, I'm a third year sports scientist and this is a, a video podcast on how to set up a bottom rope system. The important safety point when you arrive to the crag is always just straight away put your helmet on. It's a very good, good place to start here you have a lip on the edge and you're not likely to be going up near the edge and falling over the top and you've also got a lot of work to play with. And if you are near an edge there is a, a system you can use to secure yourself to the rope which I'll show, just show you now. Take a sling and take one end and place it through your belay loop. With this end place it through the other end of your sling and pull. This creates a cow's tail. Now attach a carabiner to your cow's tail. Attach a carabiner to your belay loop. Now with a cross it, wrap it round your rope. I'm wrapping it around three times here. Once that's done and set up nicely, take your carabiner off and slide it through the two holes and do up your carabiner. Now your French press is ready, so you can walk, walk away, put pressure on it, it doesn't slide, and put a bit of pressure on it and it will slide with you. As I have the lip here, and I don't feel uh, that I'm going to fall off, I'm not going to attach myself to with the prusset to the right, as I've got a lot of work to go, uh, as I've got a lot of ground to work in. I will be using three anchor points to this bottom rope system. The first anchor point is through this nut, and this is where I will start my my rope anchor from. To the left is my second anchor point. This is through a sling over a spike. To the left again is my final anchor point, which uses another nut. These are all good placements for anchors because the angle between the anchors is less than 60 degrees. First of all, make a loop near the end of your rope. With this loop, wrap it round the end of the rope and then putting it back through the hole you've just created and tighten. Now you can create a stopper knot. Wrap the rope round two times round the end of the rope and then pop the end of the rope right back through the two winds you've just created and tighten. Now you can attach this to your first carabiner and tighten up the screw gate. Now take the rope, leaving a big loop in the system and attach it to the next anchor point. As you threaded the rope, always make sure you tighten the screw gate up. Now take the rope off again to your third anchor point, leaving a loop in the system again. And remember, screw up your, your screw gate as well. Now take the end of the rope in your left hand and go and pick up the two loops you have made between the anchor points. Now walk away from the anchors with the ropes in your hand. Now to equalise the ropes you need to pull the spare, root, spare rope through into your loop systems. This is quite a fiddly job but try, try to do it bit by bit and to try to keep each loop level in length throughout equalising the ropes. You are trying to get your two loops and the end of the rope to be hanging over the crag with the same amount of same amount of tension in each piece of rope going back to the anchors. Once you have, once you have achieved this, it should look like this. Tension in between the ropes and the anchors and loops hanging down off the crag. The knot I am going to use to tie up the anchor rope is a triple figure of eight and this is tied like this. It is very much the same way as the first figure of eight we tied, just with three loops. 
you take the three loops and wrap it, wrap it around the rope as we did before and you come back through the hole. Now this is done, pull on the six, six strands of rope separately to tighten up the knot. Once the knot is tightened, to check that you have the right knot, you should have three loops coming out the top and the six strands coming out the bottom. If there are any more numbers than this or less, you need to retie the knot. Before you tie the figure of eight with the three loops, you need to check for these important things. Once the knot is tied, place over the crag, and it should look like this. If the knot is not over the crag, you will need to retie it, because it needs to be hanging over the crag so your climbing rope is not touching the, the rock. I'm going to attach two, carab two HMS carabiners through the loops we've just created. You can use one, but I'd like to use two, just because, uh, just a rope pair and for safety, because now we've got a, uh, the arc is bigger, which the rope's going to be going through through the carabiners, so it, it creates less friction and uh, will make sure the rates are stay better. As you can see, I've put the uh, two carabiners on and the screw goes on the other side. This is so they don't unscrew each other. And also, they're facing downwards like this, so gravity is on his side, even if they do want to try and unturn, you've got gravity down there helping them off and as well. After that, we're just going to thread the middle of the rope which we're using to uh, climb on through the carabiners. Like so, just tighten up the carabiners. Okay. And then we're ready to throw the rope down. After you put the middle of the rope between the two carabiners, what you then need to do is coil the rope up as I've done like this. Have a little look below. Shout below. There's nobody out there. Just throw down your climbing rope down there. Before you throw the rope down, you need to check for these important things. Now with the, uh, the climbing rope down at the bottom of the crag, now you can go down to the bottom and you can start climbing on it. Right, I've shown you the basis of a bottom rope system now. Uh, what you need to go do now is go out with some more competent climbers who know how to set up a bottom rope system and practice it with them. Once you feel pretty competent at it, it's best to find someone of the same skill level to you and you can discuss it and go out and uh, give feedback on each other's bottom rope systems.